I'm going to quickly show you how to work with O'Reilly content using the Fluid Info Chrome extension. First of all, I'm on the O'Reilly uh, web page for JavaScript, and because I know that I'm interested in O'Reilly as a result of you know owning their books and so on, I'm going to do a click on the page and go to the Fluid Info menu, and I'm going to say I want to follow O'Reilly.com, the domain, and I'll show you what that means. Um, of course, when I'm on the O'Reilly site, I can see the O'Reilly uh, information already. But if I'm somewhere else on the web and I see, for example, here's a review of a book that's published by O'Reilly, there's not even a link to the book. I can just select the title of the book and I get a little pop-up over here that shows me uh, a link to the book and a link to the author on, uh, on the O'Reilly site. I could click on those things, but I'll, I'll just move on. Um, similarly, if I run across a person's name on the web and it turns out to be an O'Reilly author, then when I select their name, I get a little pop-up. It shows me their bio with a bunch of links and so on, and the books that that person has written with links to them. So that's pretty cool. Now, you may also just be looking at someone on LinkedIn and you come across a, you know, their name, just highlight the name, and it turns out that Nicholas is a Fluid Info uh, book author. There's his uh, info from O'Reilly. Uh, there's the book, uh, and so on. Next, I'm a Python programmer, and if I'm interested in Python, I can just select the word Python on any web page, and up pops all the O'Reilly books that have got anything to do with Python. And of course, I can click on them and go straight to their pages in O'Reilly. And I can click on their authors and so on. Uh, you'll see there's also a Wikipedia link and so on. Um, you can also see down here that I follow Python as a, as a word. Um, I won't tell you what that means, but uh, it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, I might be looking at the Wikipedia page for JavaScript, and I double click on the word JavaScript, and immediately I see all the O'Reilly books that have anything to do with JavaScript. Uh, you can see I've also got some other tags on JavaScript because I, I've been tagging it myself with some articles that are interesting to me. Uh, actually, this Wikipedia page is interesting because if I reload it, you'll also see a pop-up here that tells me that uh, Albert Wenger mentioned it in his Tumble log. And there's a link to the post where he mentioned uh, this page on JavaScript. Okay, next. Suppose I'm a reader of O'Reilly Radar uh, and I like the content there, I can once again do a click on the page. I can say I want to follow radar.oreilly.com and what happens then is that when I'm cruising around on the web, I can, uh, let's, let's find an article. Um, there's one. The, the password's an interviews article by Mike. Uh, this has got certain keywords that you can see down here. Uh, interviews, passwords, privacy, social engineering, and so on. Um, so I'm, I'm interested in the stuff that O'Reilly Radar is interested in, like privacy. So I can find the word privacy anywhere on the web. I double click on it, and up pops a little pop-up that shows me all the O'Reilly Radar articles that have got privacy as one of their tags. And of course, I can go and click on one of them. Um, in fact, there's one about data science. Uh, let's just see what happens. So I click on uh, data science, and let's see if I can find what I'm looking for, because uh, this is not exactly, we haven't done everything, but we've done quite a bit. Um, I can select, let's say, data scientist. And there's another pop-up uh, that says, hey, there's some articles on O'Reilly Radar about uh, data scientists, and there they all are. And you can shut it down. And of course, if you go to Fluid Info and you look at the, the things that you're following, you can see in here that uh, I'm following O'Reilly and uh, I'm following radar.oreilly.com. Okay, thanks.